Hey guys, it's Steven here back with another video. Manchester City are currently in course in the middle of the international break, but there's been loads of random news going around and things to talk about. And even though it's a little bit slow on the City front, I thought I'd jump on and record a video discussing some of the talking points you guys mentioned to me over on Twitter when I asked. Um, because it's fun. It is fun to talk about it. Before I do that, I want to quickly draw your wonderful attention to this most excellent prize by the people over at Football Prizes. You could win... A signed and framed Edison shirt. Put it on your wall. Make it look absolutely beautiful in your man cave, your bedroom, wherever, your kitchen, your dining room, wherever you want to. It's such an awesome prize. And more than that as well, in this same draw, they've got two hospitality tickets for the City versus Real Madrid game in the Champions League quarterfinal. You could win them as well. How exciting is that? Very low odds to win it. Best of luck to all who enter. Head to Football Prizes right now with the link in the description below. And hopefully you can win either uh, two tickets Tickets for Manchester City versus Real Madrid in the Champions League hospitality or a signed and framed Edison shirt. Very, very exciting. For the cost of a cup of coffee as well. Absolutely worth an entry. Good luck to all who enter. Go for it right now. Let's get into today's video. After I've told you to like this video and give it a subscribe as well while you're there. Do it. Go on, help support the channel. So, let's talk about the news um, that's been sort of clogging up our timelines on Twitter and all that kind of stuff. The first thing I want to talk about is the rumours about Jared Branthwaite, the Everton player, the centre-back, the 21-year-old who's currently on the lips of most people in this country as one of the biggest talents in the English game. A really exciting young talent. He, of course, just made his first call up to the international team. So he's currently training with our very own Phil Foden, Kyle Walker, Johnny Stones, people like that. And there's a little bit of rumours going around yesterday uh, that Man City are monitoring the developments of the Everton centre-back Jared Branfrey. While City are not sure players in the position, their intent is to keep the competition high and they're keeping an eye on the 21-year-old's progress. Um, I think this is a natural development because basically Jared Branfrey is sort of like the next John Stones. Of course, we're going to be paying attention attention to a guy who, like John Stones, is at Everton, who also seems like a Rolls Royce of a footballer. Now, if you don't know much about Jared Branthwaite, I'll sort of try and fill you in a tiny bit right now. Um, 21 years old, currently playing for Everton in the Premier League, having a great season for them. Previously, uh, he, he joined from Carlisle United. Obviously, uh, that was a few years back now. He did go on loan when he joined Everton to Blackburn Rovers, alongside our Taylor Howard Bellis, actually. And I think Howard Bellis was actually probably the slightest stronger of the two at the time. So it's funny how to see careers can change, isn't it? Taylor should be in the Premier League, maybe. There's an argument there that they could be having a similar trajectory. But anyway, uh, Jared did well on loan at Blackburn. But most interestingly for him, uh, last season, he joined PSV. Yep, the Dutch Giants, PSV Eindhoven, on loan and had a really good season there winning their domestic cup uh, and starting most of their games a really really good turnaround for brand weight um, and a fantastic low for him uh, and then of course he's come back and started playing for Everton now what would you get for the potential money we get a guy who's six foot five which is great you get a guy um he can play on left centre-back, right centre-back. He's more or less two-footed. He's got a good height, a good reading of the game. And he's got a decent turn of pace as well. Essentially, you're getting a guy who's a lot like John Stones. And it must be tempting for Man City to look at the defensive options we've got and consider consider the possibility of another centre-back. The only thing I would say is I do think Oscar Vardial in long term will be a centre-back. We do have Ruben Diaz. We do have John Stones. We do have Nathan Ake. And I don't think we're quite there yet. I think City are right to monitor him. I don't think we'll go in and buy him yet because we don't need another centre-back. But Jared Bradway is the kind of guy who, like John Stones, could reach the pinnacle of the game. And John Stones has reached that level. You could argue that we have young footballers like Howard Bellis, people like that, that potentially could get a chance if they get a Premier League loan. We could be talking about him in a very similar way. It's easy to argue that. Brantway didn't even start uh, as part of England's under 21s uh, success last summer. You know, Howard Bellis did. He was captain in that side. So you can see how these things can shift very, very quickly. But he's a very good footballer, a very good footballer, um, an excellent talent, a Rolls-Royce. He's impressed against pretty much every single team he's played this season. And he's one that I like to see City pay attention to. I don't think we'll buy him for what it's worth, but I do think if it, if, if it's sort of like... Uh, uh, a bidding war came in. I think City would be paying very close attention to, to how that developed and how it went down. A cracking player. And let me know in the comments if you want to see Manchester City. Second thing I want to talk about is Kyle Walker. Now, of course, he did withdraw from the England squad due to injury, unfortunately. Yep, he's got a hamstring injury. He only lasted a few minutes, of course, against Brazil. 20 minutes, something like that. He tried to run off the problem, but it was called to be replaced moments later. Um, I'm trying to find the quotes from... 
Gareth Southgate now about him. He said, we don't know the severity. He's not had many injuries, but so he isn't sure whether it's just tightness. I suspect if he's feeling it, it's a little more than that, but we all know a, a bit more of the next 24 to 36 hours. 24 hours later, he withdrew for the squad. It is concerning, I can't deny it. Now, people immediately start thinking about Vinicius Jr., Real Madrid, the title running. I sort of divisively tweeted that I am quite relaxed because I think we've got a Kanji and I think I trust him more right now. That's not to say I don't trust Pete Kyle Walker more. I do. But I think Kyle Walker this season, he's not really filled a lot of us with hope, you know. Kyle Walker is a fantastic footballer. He's our club captain. I've got an enormous amount of respect for him. I think he's the best ever Premier League right back. I think he's that much of a legend. But I do think his form has been up and down this season. And I do think his acceleration is slowing a tiny bit. Top speed, no. Acceleration, maybe. And it is worth remembering that towards the back end of the last season, Kyle Walker was sort of out of the team a little bit with Akanji playing that right-back role really well. Of course, Walker did come back in for the semi-finals and he did play excellently against Vinicius Jr. He was brilliant there and probably is still the very best to focus uh, to, uh, to, to stop him, best equipped to stop him. But I do trust the Kanji. I just do. I think he's excellent. I think he's he pretty much steps up whenever we need him. And I think City, look, Vinicius Jr. is a fantastic player, but he's not like he scores in every single game he plays in. And not everyone has defenders as good as we've got as well, you know. So he's not in, he's not unstoppable. Vinicius Jr. is excellent, but he's not Lionel Messi. And I think we need to remember that. He's world class, but he's not, I'm going to destroy your team on my own. <laughs> Touch one. <laughs> He's not Lionel Messi is what I'm saying. So I'm not, as much as I'm scared of him, and I am, City have played against great players before without Kyle Walker, and we've also beat, won those games. So I think it's still possible, so I'm not going to freak out too much. But of course, I can't deny it's a blow. Like, we don't know the full extent. Of course, we'll probably know more when he's back at Manchester City when they do the scans and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure we'll hear more from Guardiola probably on Friday uh, when it comes to the press conference ahead of the weekend's game against Arsenal. So we will see. Finally, on today's video, I want to talk about Cancelo's comments. <laughs> Uh, Cancelo has, has come out and just been speaking, been giving a little bit of that. Chill, Cancelo. He said, lies were told. I was never a bad companion for them, and you can ask either Ake or Rico. I don't have any superiority or inferiority complex towards them. I think Manchester City were a bit ungrateful to me when they said that, because I was a very important player for the years I was there. I never failed in, in my commitment to the club, to the fans, I always gave everything. That was to a Portuguese newspaper. My immediate, my immediate thought is Manchester City have not said anything. There are no quotes directly from any Manchester City uh, staff member, from Guardiola or anything, about what Cancelo did or didn't do. They've actually played it all down, if anything. There was a sort of laced comment at one point from Guardiola that seemed to imply Cancelo had done something like this. I think he said something once along the lines of everyone will be happy, well, almost everyone, or something like that once. But that was... That was the extent of what I can think. I think Cancelo's reacting to rumours online here that he's read and that I've heard, that you've heard. Um, and I, if I'm being honest, I think there's elements of truth to those rumours. I think Cancelo is not the smartest of guys, if I'm being honest. I think he's a fantastic footballer. I, I appreciate everything he's ever done for Manchester City Football Club. But I do think he's probably acted emotionally. He's known to be like that way. He's left many clubs... Uh, after having relationships broken down with, you know, managers, um, because he does not like it when he's not in the team, you know. Uh, Can Cancelo is an emotional guy. He was a brilliant footballer, but I doubt for a second that he handled this with elegance and grace for the whole side of it. And the fact that he's just said Manchester City have slagged him off publicly, which isn't true, and he started it with saying lies were told, that's literally a lie, Joao, unfortunately, mate. I think your feelings have been a bit too hurt. I'm not going to labour this too much. I think he's a scorned man, a little bit bitter, but I think he's also not the, the most secure person in the world. It is what it is. I don't think he means badly. I just don't think he can handle his emotions. And I still love Joao Cancel. I think he's a fantastic footballer. Um, but I think he's a little bit childish. And I think that a lifetime of football, and a lifetime of being taught that you're the most special uh, and the best can do that. And I think we know, of course, he's got insecurities due to things that happened personally to him and so on. And he talks about how, you know, he played the next day after he was robbed and so on. And that was took an awful, an awful lot of bravery and, you know, commitment to the team. I'm never going to play down what he accomplished at Manchester to City, but I really doubt that City shipped him off to buy in on loan two days before the transfer window closed for no reason. It doesn't, it just doesn't make any sense, you know. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me. It doesn't. 
But guys, they're my thoughts on the topics about Brandweight, about Kyle Walker, about Joel Cancelo. Let me know your thoughts about Jared Brandweight down below. Do you want to see him in Manchester City shirt? Let me know what you think about Kyle Walker's injury. Can we cope without him? Joel Cancelo, what is going on there? Give the video a like. Check out, of course, the football prizes competition. You can win a pair of hospital tickets for Man City versus Real Madrid. Iconic. Or, of course, a signed and framed Edison shirt. Wonderful stuff. Link in the description below. For now, have a wonderful day. In a bit, you blues.